Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi Sky. My name is Sky. Today we're going to be talking all about Cryo War. Cryo War is a real time multiplayer PvP arena NFT game developed in Unreal Engine and it is on the Solana network, so very low fees. We love that. Um, and it is also an amalgam. So basically, Cryo War is an amalgamation between traditional gaming experience and best practices of the blockchain world, DAO voting, NFT, and of course, decentralized finance, DeFi. It's what we're all here for. And something that I definitely like about this project and that I've come to always look for in projects is that it is deflationary. It's, it has a gaming ecosystem with deflationary mechanisms that integrates staking with gameplay, allowing RPG stakers to earn better rewards through increasing their in-game skill and experience levels. So it has all the makings of an addictive, enjoyable game, but also the tokenomics for a successful investment. You know, because a game can be like really fun to play and very addictive, but, you know, it's just gonna maybe cost you money to play and you're not actually gonna earn anything. But Cryo War is looking very, very promising. Uh, it's a multi-blockchain medieval metaverse. So, so another good thing, it's in the metaverse space, which is only just beginning, you know, 2022 is going to be a huge year for anything metaverse related. And their end game, their whole vision is the creation of a multi blockchain, uh, like I say, medieval metaverse without boundaries. So some other noteworthy features, you've got eight unique characters. It's a very skill based gameplay, so it'll definitely attract more serious gamers. And it has cross platform multiplayer. Another reason why I'm very bullish on Cryo War is the team. They have been developing this game fi for more than three years. So this isn't something that they've just come up with to, you know, cash in on the current metaverse NFT gaming trend. This has been in the works for a long time, and the team has been dedicated working on this next gen project to uh, lay the groundwork for the gaming future because a lot of these nft games you know the the devs and everything are anonymous and that's not to say that if the team is anonymous it's going to fail but it's just an, an added definitely a big added bonus uh, if the team are not anonymous so we've got the uh, ceo nikolai petrovic and the COD, which is Alessandro Ciavaloa, I'm sorry, um, and they have extensive experience, obviously, in game designing and have brought this game with cutting edge visuals into the DeFi DAO metaverse. As well, the partners, astounding, we've got Amazon, Coca-Cola, SAP, Atos, Adobe, MySQL, and Wax. So like I say, the graphics are amazing um, and they are provided by the Unreal Engine and AAA Graphics, or maybe it's said AAA Graphics, I'm not sure. So you've got the play to earn side of things and that's really the basics of this gaming platform. PTE is one of the hottest platforms in blockchain gaming right now. Uh, PTE is also one of the newest concepts in gaming, which was introduced with the help of NFTs and blockchain. So like I say, we are really just at the beginning. And if anyone tries to tell you you've missed the boat on this whole PTE thing, just tell them they're crazy. Okay. Um, well, there is a huge demand for in-game assets like tokens and NFTs. Uh, here, users can own legitimate in-game purchases and even transfer them between games. Uh, players can even keep their earned NFTs and later as their value rises in the NFT marketplace, they can sell them on the Solana powered marketplaces. Another interesting feature is the shorter gameplay sessions. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. They've actually, um, CryoWar has limited the combat gameplay timing to three minutes. Uh, this enables players to play at their convenience wherever they are and whenever they want, you know, so you're not getting into like an, an hour's worth of gaming. You probably just end up playing an hour's worth of three minute games, but that's up to you. Uh, it also has a very rich gaming environment. The platform provides a very competitive environment for users. Cryowar has exciting combats, starting from PvP Last Man Standing, 
VP Deathmatch, PvP top score in five minutes, PvP 1v1 duels on player-owned land, PvE co-op epic boss fights, uh, there's also PvP battle arena, and PvE co-op survival mode. Um, so there's lots to choose from. What I also love is that there it's not just earn to play, there's also free to play. Um, so if you just want to play this just for the pure love of gaming, you can also do that. So you'll be given a hero, you can have a choice of heroes. Um, you can pair them and you can customize their powers and, you know, play whatever um, your strategy is. And you'll get to meet the battlefield heroes, their powers, playstyle and their characteristics. Uh, when it comes to the tokenomics, just a little short summary. The token name is Sea War, and the total supply is 1 billion. Staking and community rewards, which is 45%, is 450 million. So what can you do with the Sea War tokens? So with these Sea War tokens, you get access to, obviously, in-game DeFi staking, yield farming, exchange trade utility, and governance voting. Uh, NFT staking will win the token holders randomized rewards on a monthly basis. And those rewards can include NFTs, uh, more Sea War tokens, arena and tournament tickets. Uh, also, token holders will be able to provide liquidity. Cryo War plans on introducing DAO governance and provide additional rewards for the community to help the project reach new heights. Uh, there will also be a 30% burn, um, token burn, which obviously helps with the deflation side of things. So let's look at the the price right now. So right now at the time of filming, the price is $1.03. Um, it had an all-time high of $4.66. So not financial advice, but if you're looking to invest in the crypto gaming sphere, this is definitely one to pick up cheap. And like I say, it's at a very nice, heavy discount right now. Um, you can get it. Gate.io, KuCoin, Bybit, and Bitforex and ZT and Radium, which I've never used. Let me know if you want to hear more about Cryo War, and also let me know your opinions in the comment section below. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.